Hi guys and welcome to this episode of the Micropilot where I show you the basics of flying a helicopter and the controls I use to do so. You'll notice in this video I am wearing a poppy but this was filmed back in November and it's taken me a while to get around to editing the video but I hope you enjoy the video make sure you like and subscribe if you are new to the channel because it really does help and if you're looking to buy pilot equipment don't forget to use my discount code the micropilot to get 5% off poolies. Okay there we go uh, clutch is engaged and the uh, clutch light has gone out and let's just take a look up the Golf Delta Golf for Romeo Echo, request uh, radio check. Helicopter Golf Romeo Echo, Helicopter 59, really busy five. Uh, five volts, five volts, so uh, Romeo Echo. Okay, good. So, guys, um, as we're warming up, I'm, um, I'll just talk you through some of the basic controls. So, uh, down by my feet are the pedals. So, quite simply, if I push right, the aircraft's going to yaw right, so that's kind of like twist to the right and uh, same with the left pedal. Uh, in the cabri, the uh, power pedal, as we call it, is the right foot because that's the one where when the pitch, uh, when the blade pitch change on the um, on the tail rotor, that requires more power from the engine. Okay, in, in the middle here is the cyclic and quite simply pushing it forwards, backwards, left or right will tilt the aircraft in any of those um, directions. And it's that motion that we use to control the direction of the aircraft um, and then down by my left hand side is the collective so pulling it up alters the pitch on all of the blades collectively and so um, that base it's it's essentially our up and down motion but we'll talk through that when we get going and left the traffic helicopter golf uh, Romeo Echo is taxiing to the age okay good so still clear around uh, nice and centralized feeling the uh, sense of gravity as we come up and then we just simply lift into an initial hover there. Uh, stop here, just do a quick pedal turn. I'm checking that the pads are clear. There's a little bit of discoloration which I'd expect from the fuel being overspilt during the priming. Now one of the things you uh, learn as you're learning to fly helicopters is uh, slowly to use all three of the controls um, essentially without even having to think about it like I am now um, you're always watching your power when you're taxiing to make sure you uh, don't either overpower the engine or over pitch the uh, main rotor blades okay so the basic controls so quite simply the cyclic in my right hand if I was to push it forwards now just check we are clear all around they're taking off to conduct a circuit so if I was to push forwards on the cyclic, it simply tilts us forwards and then we start moving forwards. And then if I do the reverse, it tilts us backwards and slows us down. If I was to continue pulling backwards, then um, we'd start flying backwards. And the, the same happens for the left and right movements as well. I'm just making sure I'm high enough off the ground so I'm nowhere near to the ground um, so we don't get any type of rollover if the skids connect with the ground on the sideways movement. If I was to uh, move the cyclic to the right, so push it right, we tilt right, and then we quite simply just start flying right. All I'm doing with my feet is just keeping us pointing forwards. So if I move it left, it tilts us left until we slow down to a stop, and then we put it back central to stay in the hover. And the same happens for left cyclic as well. So we are clear to the left, so if I push in uh, some left cyclic, we simply tilt to the left a just a little bit and that's enough to get us moving sideways to the left and again just using my feet uh, to remain pointing uh, forwards okay and then a bit of right cyclic will tilt us right it'll slow that left movement down and then we come to a stop and I'll put it back central to maintain the hover okay so in my left hand is the collective so if I pull that up a little bit we get we just quite simply go up and then all you do is you lift it up and down just ever so slightly and you find that sweet spot that keeps you at the same height in the air and 
like I say, it's only just very, very small movement. So if I move it down just a little bit, we now start to descend. And now we're going down. And then we just lift it up a little bit to slow down that rate of descent and find that sweet spot that keeps me at the same height. All the time that you're moving the collective, you are just monitoring your power uh, just to make sure that you don't either over pitch or overpower uh, the uh, rotor system. So now looking at the pedals, right, just checking we're all clear around. Okay, so the for the pedals, if I push on my right foot, we quite simply start spinning around to the right. And like I say, it's only very small movements. And I'm using the cyclic because as you turn around, the wind changes its position uh, relative to the aircraft. So I'm using the cyclic to stay in the same position as we do a pedal turn. And then we just ease off on that right pedal uh, to come to a stop. Now the same happens with my left foot. If I, uh, if I push the left foot forwards a little bit more, now this doesn't necessarily mean that my left foot is in front of my right foot. The right foot provides all of that anti-torque power uh, to the main rotor head. But if I push the left foot forwards a little bit, we will start to turn to the left. And again, I'm just using the, um, the cyclic to keep us roughly level and in position on the airfield uh, relative to the wind as we turn around. Okay, in terms of taking off and landing, um, it's quite the same, uh, you know, you use the controls as you think you would in terms of collective comes up to lift up and you use the uh, cyclic to keep the aircraft uh, stable and balanced and then the pedals just to keep pointing in the same direction. But this is, you know, a combined use of all uh, three controls and uh, you're also taking into account your power considerations as well. We're making sure that all the warning lights are out, TTPs are in the green, 61 litres RPM is in the green. Uh, with the governor on and we're currently 36% power at the moment. Uh, the cyclic, the collective friction is off. We are clear left, clear ahead, clear right with one aircraft on the H and one on the 10 hard runway. So taking into account the wind, uh, just cyclic goes a little bit to the left into the wind as the wind's from the left hand side. Uh, we're always going to need right pedal because actually power pedal to uh, counter the uh, torque from the main rotor. And now with the uh, collective friction off, we just start slowly raising that collective up and then lift into the hover. So keeping it nicely balanced, just adjusting all of my controls until the aircraft just very nicely lifts off the ground into the hover. So now we're keeping the aircraft nice and stable, we can look over and make sure that all the warning lights are still out, all the T's and V's are still within the green. We've got 60 uh, litres of fuel, RPM's in the green, and power's well within limits. Okay, now we've um, repositioned. We'll put it a bit more into wind, so tail's clear right. A pedal turn to the left, and now we're roughly into wind. So landing is actually quite simple but obviously you want to do it as controlled and as nice as possible um, because everyone wants to do a good landing and you never want to do a hard landing either. <laughs> so, now we're establishing a nicely stable hover above the uh, site where we want to uh, touch down. We uh, just very slowly lower that collective so we start a downwards movement. And we just keep the aircraft nice and stable, looking out uh, ahead, a heading marker to keep us nicely um, on our heading. And then you just feel those skids just very lightly touch the ground. Then you just keep that sight, the uh, collective coming down. And you're flying, you're still flying the aircraft even though you're on the ground until that collective's all the way down. There we are, put the uh, pedals back to neutral and the cyclic back in the centre. And that's the aircraft fully landed on the ground. So 
they have clutch off pull the mixture out. So that cuts the engine one has come on so ignition's off and then we can turn off all unnecessary things leaving the strobe light on and then catch it good guys I hope you've enjoyed uh, the video make sure you like and subscribe to see future videos like this coming up in the future and um, go check out some of my other stuff and there's some really cool stuff on the way as well uh, don't forget you can get 5% uh, off Pooley's flight equipment using my discount code the micropilot but guys stay safe and I'll see you in the next one